cry for Allah's salvation. One day will he, Allah, gather them all together and say, O ye assembly of jinns, much told that you take as men. Their friends amongst men will say, Our Lord, we made profit from each other, but alas, we reached our term, which thou didst appoint for us. He will say, The fire be your dwelling place, ye shall dwell therein forever, except as Allah willeth, for thy Lord is full of wisdom and knowledge. Holy Quran, Surah 6, Ayat 128. Clearly, the issue here is the oppression, torture, torture, and justice upon believing people made subject uh, through this uh, trade alliance between the, the individual uh, men uh, who selected to engage in trade with uh, the uh, jinns. So there are two things which are clearly being uh, indicated here, which I, I, I'm, I'm attempting to capsulize, and that is one, you should not cohabitate with them as a man or a woman in Islam, and two, you should not try to engage in trade. Now, I come back to the concept of suhra, and I put forth that it is possible not only for them in this region, that, that you know, this is just what my assessment is, that this is what has been uh, being uh, engaged uh, on here, but that they have done so to the point of suhra, with the jinns, you know, trading with Sahra, trading in Sahra with them. Uh, so not only trading and, and you know, of course, uh, some perhaps even cohabitating, but even to the point of, uh, to the point of Sahra, uh, trading in Sahra with them. Uh, and there will be a cry, who is a magician to restore him, her, uh, Holy Quran, Surah 75, Ayah 27. Uh, it seems that by this that there are so-called healing practices or restoration practices involved with Sufra. I think of a Herb Albert track called Magic Man uh, that just automatically pops into my mind. Or a Heart, which is a, uh, an, uh, an old uh, female rock band. Uh, she came out, they came out with uh, Magic Man and uh, or when Heart literally dropped a track that was named and that pronounces crazy on you. Uh, a type of uh, spell type of thing, uh, makes me understand why uh, Surah to Shu'ara uh, was revealed uh, for Muslims. So healing themselves through Sahra, as opposed to the Holy Quran, had we sent this as a Quran in a language other than Arabic, they would have said, why are not its verses explained in detail? What? A book not in Arabic? And a messenger, an Arab? Say, it is a guide and a healing to those who believe, and, if, and for those who believe not, there is deafness in their ears and blindness in their eyes. They are, as it were, being called from a place far distant. Holy Quran, Surah 41, Ayat 44. What I'd like to do is explore some uh, of the proverbs on this issue. Dishonest money brings grief to the whole family, but those who hate bribes will live. Proverbs 15. Verse 27, a bribe seems to work like magic for those who give it and receive it. They succeed in what they do. Proverbs 17, verse 8. The wicked accept secret bribes to pervert justice. Proverbs 17, verse 23. A corrupt witness makes a mockery of justice. The mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Proverbs 19, verse 28. Stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. Proverbs 20, verse 17. Wealth created by lying is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap. Proverbs 21, verse 6. Those that sow the seeds of injustice shall harvest disaster, and their reign of terror, tumult, oppression, torture will end. Proverbs 22, verse 8. A person that gets ahead by oppressing the poor or by showering gifts on the rich will end in poverty. Proverbs 22, verse 16. Whoever gives to the poor will lack nothing, but a curse will come upon those who close their eyes to poverty. Proverbs 28, verse 27. Doesn't mean us in this al-Islam should not make money. Just means don't forget zakat and sadaqah by appropriate measure. Do not rob the poor because they are poor or exploit the needy in court for their Lord is their defender. He will injure anyone who injures them. Proverbs 22, verse 22. 
A just king gives stability to his nation, but one who demands bribes destroys it. Proverbs 29, verse 4. Okay, so I'm going to go to Ezekiel from here. This is a very powerful piece, primarily because uh, many are uh, seeking the temple uh, prophesied uh, by the prophet Nabi Ezekiel, also known as Dul Kifli. Uh, they are seeking this in uh, Israel. And clearly, you know, and as I mentioned in other s videos, that uh, Islam has a, a very direct correlation to uh, the, uh, the fulfillment of that, of that prophecy. Uh, many of the laws uh, that are in the Quran must be incorporated with this, uh, this, uh, this temple uh, in order for it to uh, truly uh, come into existence. Uh, and there's uh, ayahs that uh, speak to this, this reality, which I could call forth at this moment. Uh, but uh, this uh, here, talk, touching on Sufra, and this is the subject of this one. Um, now, son of man, also speak out against the women who prophesy from their own imaginations. And I, I just would like to uh, also include that this is speaking to women who do this. But there are men and women that are, you know, engaged in, in attempting to ensnare the souls of, uh, of, uh, of Allah's uh, people. So this is uh, something that, uh, you know, uh, I intended to do when I was typing this out and I forgot <laughs> to include men. But this is something that includes the men and the women who engage in this suhra or togut or jibti type activity, magic, sorcery, witchcraft, warlocks, witches, that type of thing. Now, son of men also speak out against the women who prophesy from their own imaginations. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Destruction is certain for you women who are ensnaring the souls of my people, both young and old alike. You tie magic terms on their wrists and furnish them with magic veils. Do you think you can trap others without bringing destruction on yourselves? You turn my people away from me for a few handfuls of barley or a piece of bread. By lying to my people who love to listen to lies, you kill those who should not die, and you promise life to those who should not live. And so the Sovereign Lord says, I am against all your magic charms, which you use to ensnare my people like birds. I will tear them from your arms, setting my people free like birds set free from a cage. I will tear off the magic veils and save my people from your grasp. They will no longer be your victims. Then you will know that I am the Lord. You have discouraged the righteous with your lies when I didn't want them to suffer grief. And you have encouraged the wicked by promising them life, even though they continue in their sins. But you will no longer talk of seeing visions that you never saw, nor will you practice your magic, for I will rescue my people from your grasp. Then you will know that I am the Lord, says the Lord who is the creator that sent.